Hey family, welcome back to the Brothers Gonna Write It Out book review channel. Thank you so much for joining us today. And this is your first time joining us. I would like to say welcome. And I'd also like to take the opportunity to briefly introduce myself to you. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Bill Holmes and I'm a writer, poet, author, and filmmaker. I initially created this YouTube channel to share and showcase the literary works of black male writers, both past and present, because as a black man who happens to be a writer, we have a voice and our stories need to be told and shared regardless of their respective genres. So having said that, um, I'm very excited to share with you my first book review. And at the time that I'm recording this video, uh, it's during the month of April. For those of you who don't know, April is considered National Poetry Month. And I am a poet, and I've always admired the works of poets who um, challenge my thinking as well as inspire me to uh, excel my creativity. And the first book that I would like to review is a poetry collection by a dear poet, a uh, friend, and also someone who has been a mentor to me, a brother by the name of Yuari Osiande. And I'm going to be reviewing his latest uh, collection, Black Phoenix Uprising. And uh, another f uh, poet uh, who I know has also been a mentor, but also she has been my teacher, uh, Miss Ursula Rucker. Shout out to Ursula Rucker, uh, Philly representing. Uh, she basically describes uh, this as saying, this book is fire, a straight rebel yell. With Black Phoenix Uprising, Yuari X Osiande names our many names, mourns our many pains, celebrates our many glories. Osiande courageously and skillfully crafted this high voltage assemblage of word power as a fearless field guide for all Black Phoenixes to rise and shine. I cannot happen to agree with Ursula, AKA Super Sister, anymore uh, because when the first time that I read it, it was on a Saturday morning. I'm just chilling, relaxing on uh, in my living room, drinking green tea, listening to some music. And I'm just feeling this sense of empowerment come over to me and as I'm reading the uh, every poem in the collection. And I really, when by the time that I was done uh, finishing the book, I was like, damn, I wish I had written that uh, uh, collection. Uh, Yuari just really set you up to make you think, but also in powers you as far as like even with the opening poem in the first section of the book uh 400 years uh to make you you know realize that our history as black people it did not start on the auction block and he just goes through as far as like you know having poems that are dedicated to some of our former um heroes and heroines who are no longer with us uh pretty as freedom a dedication to the late muhammad ali and I remember reading that poem and just feeling like, you know, uh, nostalgic for all the memories that I had of uh, Ali boxing in the 1970s, but also learning about um, his, all the things that he did, you know, to uh, the sacrifices that he made, putting his reputation and his life on the line when he chose to protest the Vietnam War. Uh, the other poem in there, when I think of Lucille Clifton, just uh, the imagery uh, that you already had of like, you know, seeing this uh, beautiful black woman with her, uh, the crown that she has, uh, you know, with her uh, hair, um, just like the, with the food preparation, the imagery that that invoked, um, as well as uh, black fire blazing, uh, tribute to the late Amiri Baraka. And you can definitely see, um, Amiri Baraka's influence on Yuari's writing style in his poetry. Um, there's other poems that are in the collection uh, dedicated to some of our contemporaries who are uh, who were taken away from us too soon, such as Sandra Bland, uh, as far as the poem that was dedicated to her called Conspiracies, as well as They Will Kill You, uh, which was dedicated to Trayvon Martin. My favorite poem in the collection was an NFL protest poem in four quarters. Yuari really breaks it down um, and really captures my feelings as someone who was a former fan of the National Football League, 
who no longer watches it and participates it uh, because of just just some of the things that um, I have observed over the years and just really as far as with um, you know with uh, how athletes are treated um, as by some of the uh, NFL owners these days you have to read this poem that the the several poems that make up that um, that encompass that whole uh, poetry section in there because it's like from the you know Pledge of Allegiance from All Rise to the fourth quarter itself and so it was just um, really an outstanding read um, and from you know myself to Yuari from one poet and writer to another um, you know I'm a huge fan of your work um, there's no question about it I've uh, been that way since uh, I first met you back in 1998 and purchased uh, your collection, Gangsta Rap is Dead. So um, I really thank you for uh, Black Phoenix Uprising, an awesome um, you know, poetry collection. Uh, it was, it's brothers like yourself, um, Kevin Powell, the Twin Poets, and Bernard Collins, who you know paved the way and inspired uh, poets uh, like Bill Holmes to do what he does. And so I really thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for this uh, powerful uh, collection. And for those of you who would like to uh, purchase, uh, you know, Black Phoenix Uprising, please do because support our independent authors because uh, during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, what's going on here, you know, um, we it's important that we support each other's works and keep it out there. For more information about uh, uh, URI and also if you wanted to get Black Phoenix Uprising, please visit his website at osiande.org, and I'll spell it out for you a little slower, O-S-A-Y-A-N-D-E.org. And so, having said that, that's my first book review. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed, and I will be seeing you sometime in the near future. Take care and be blessed.